What's good, good YouTube? YouTube? Throttle I'm Havoc here. I'm Alpha. I'm Jason. And we got another video out for y'all today. It's gonna be a quick one. Today, um, we just fixing, you know, the Mustang. It's been doing this for a little minute because some of y'all have mentioned it, hearing it like back in like some of our previous videos and stuff. Yeah. It's squeaking a little bit. Well, a lot of bit. So the right side but you know so we're just gonna take you through the process of how to replace the installment these, see how you know you these so in. let me show you the part number real quick so that way y'all can you know go ahead and pause that that's one of them and that's the other one right there so uh y'all gonna need two of each um it's pretty simple we're gonna show y'all how to do it you know but the squeaking has been pissing me off it's been doing it like since we did the suspension <laughs> on the car we yeah. thought it was a sway bars initially but we kind of narrowed it down to this and yeah. literally it's called anti-squeak um but they're the spring oscillators so I'm gonna show basically y what the problem is so we're gonna take y'all through it and see what what it is what it is. excuse it the car is dirty but you know <laughs> ain't had time to wash it today all right first things first before you want to put the car up in there you want to make sure you break the lug nuts loose <sighs> Make sure you get a good purchase on it you know you gotta make sure you got that leg on one foot right there the knee actually cut all right get a good purchase make sure you got some lotion that you purchased too <laughs> you know because you don't want to be actually on video i right mean now. my knee was just on concrete man give me a break <laughs> you know us african-americans have to keep lotion on deck <laughs> we'll be right back for a lotion break <laughs> pounders right there now that we have broken all the lug nuts loose we can now jack up the car so i recommend y'all gonna put this on the pinch well but over time if you do a lot of work on the ground or just moving the car up and down on the lift period it'll damage the pinch wells i really recommend getting some jack and rails it makes life a lot easier i've had them on this car for like two years y'all should really invest in something they're not that expensive and they are very helpful All right, now you got the car in the air. Now you can take off your wheel. Just take off all your lug bolts, our lug nuts. So before we get into it, um, just want to show you all exactly what you're replacing is going to be this right here. And it's going to be one that's further down in the bucket is this rubber piece here. So we're just going to do one side to show you all exactly how to do it. And then, you know, call it a day. But yeah, let's get into it. All right. So just like any lower and spring install, you got to take these two bolts off first. It's going to be an 18 millimeter. Okay. Um, just going the right way. gonna have some decent torque on it so just get you something that you could get some leverage on because you're already at a disadvantage being in a wheel well hold up all right so let's go ahead and get these out all right so next you're gonna want to take off this uh brake line right here which is gonna be a 13 millimeter and we're almost there So 
so now so we can in order for us to drop this spring we will have to remove this uh subframe brace but we can't remove the subframe brace unless we move the steta support and then we will have access to the subframe brace which then we can drop it while we put the jack under it to keep tension so that we don't have uh, a mishap all right in order to remove this um support brace there's going to be three 15 millimeter bolts two in the back one in the middle and then there's going to be two 16 bolts in the back holding the brace on that you're going to have to remove it won't be this hard if you don't have all the extra suspension stuff speaking of that y'all go check out all the suspension models you get to this car because this car got like everything completely redone so y'all should definitely go check that out if you're looking in the suspension for your s550 because uh we kind of went crazy on that So now we are on the, taking off the stock uh, subframes uh, bracket. Make sure at this point you have a jack holding up the subframe like we do, because uh, this is the last thing keeping it up. If your car is stock or you don't have the suspension mods that we do, you won't have to do that last step we did, but the first front two are gonna be a 13 mil and the back one's gonna be a 21. And we'll be giving y'all the torque specs too on tightening everything back down. Make sure y'all got y'all a breaker box because this one, the torque is on there and I have no leverage. Ah. All right. All right, now that we got the subframe um, support brace out, is this, this last uh, 21 millimeter bolt, which is located in the back right here. That's gonna be the last bolt until we can drop the subframe. Now, there's a lot of metal under here, so you might wanna watch your fingers. So now the subframe should be ready to drop and that's what we're gonna do. And there you go. Just like that. The subframe coming down, lower it slowly. Alright, so now we gotta get these uh isolators out. So it's kind of hard to get out. I don't know, I guess maybe because the whole suspension we have is a bit stiffer um, than normal, but it was a pain to get out. But okay, so this is what we really were trying to get out right here. So this, as you see, is on the top of the spring. Okay, so it has like your little grooves in there to line it up with. And then you have a thinner one that's down in the bucket, which is this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these changed out. Uh, put the spring back in. We're just gonna show y'all this one side and then we're gonna give y'all the torque specs and call it a day for the video so we can get the other side done. All right, so installation is simple. Got these little things, just wanna make sure it's popped in place. See, it got little indents right there. Just make sure it's slid on properly. And this one is supposed to line up the same way with the bottom down here, but when it goes in the bucket, it has to have a certain orientation and it'll stop you when it's in place. So if that's in place right there, all we got to do is kind of force this down a little more, get it popped back in, and we're done. So, yeah, it's probably a two-person job, especially if you have aftermarket stuff on your rear suspension because it's going to be a little hard to get down. But it's fairly simple, guys. I mean, you know, you could do this two people in a matter of probably like an hour and a half, especially if you don't have all the extra stuff. But, yeah, let's get this back in. All right, so now that we got the spring in, we got everything back up. Now we can put all the bolts back in and then get them torqued down to the right specs. But basically, we're going to be doing everything in reverse. You're just going to get the torque specs now. Make sure you do it by hand before you hit it with an impact because you do not want to cross thread this stuff. I don't think you got to come. All right, now we're going to put back on the subframe brace. Go ahead and hand screw your 
Get our bolts in. All right, now torquing down the the two big 21 millimeter bolts. They're gonna be torqued down to 129 foot pounds of torque. So now you will tighten these two 13 millimeter bolts to 41 foot pounds of torque. Yes, we tighten this and we just forgot to record it. Okay. All right, so for now, these two in the front, which go like up here where we had it, and this one was the one that went right here. These front three get torqued down to 45 foot pounds, and these two in the back get torqued down to 55. Those are the ones that were back here. Now, if y'all have these on your car or you get these from Steeda, they do have instructions online. I'm just throwing this in here as a bonus, you know what I'm saying, to tell y'all, but yeah. All right, to tighten down these two 18 millimeter bolts is gonna be 66 foot pounds of torque. All right, for the brake line, there's going to be a 13 millimeter bolt. Um, you don't have to torque this one down necessarily, but make sure it's snug. So once you get tight, you don't have to torque it too much. All right, so at this point, we're going to tighten it back down. It's going to be 22 millimeters. Uh, they all gonna be 150 foot pounds. Make sure you go on a star pattern, you know, boom, 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 whatever. But uh, a lot of people don't really care. They just do ugga duggas. I like to go based off of torque specs, you feel me? But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, and so if you look, this was like mushed in. It's not supposed to look like this at all, but it wasn't sitting in there yeah, correctly. it's supposed to be over the, the Yeah, it's supposed to be more over. Yeah, right now it's offset it. See how this one right here, it was touching the metal as you can see right here is engraved so just make sure when when this spring got installed this was like maybe three four years ago now um this was before like i had tools and before we even thought about doing youtube and stuff so like i would do simple stuff with the car but when it came to that i didn't have too many places i can go like myself and i didn't have tools to do this so that's what happened so the first person who installed this um they did it incorrectly and that's why this is like this so now we can fix it and stop the car from squeaking but yeah so you guys can see Sure. All right, man. It's a week later, and uh, we are currently heading up the Pompano Beach right now. As you can see, we're currently on Turnpike, and um, unfortunately, we did not fix the squeaking. So we are currently heading up the Steedo right now to try to see and pinpoint what the problem actually is. We tried to spray the vertical links with some lube, but that ended up not working. So we just want to take it up the Steedo and try to see what the problem is. We also bought the grease to try. We were gonna pull it back apart, but we haven't had a chance. I've been working, whatever. So, for y'all, we going up here. They only for the diagnosis, like a hundred bucks or something like that, you know. So we just gonna get this done so that way y'all don't have to do this. You can do it at home, whatever. Trust me, we tried. We didn't try multiple times to pull this car apart, pinpoint and stuff, and we haven't figured it out. We so. haven't. So we might as well take it to them. They probably know before we know. So yeah. So at least we can bring this information to y'all so that way y'all don't have to do this. Yeah, facts. <laughs> but we'll catch it up, man. I love how they got this so uh, uh, rear end out. But y'all can see we got a lot of these parts on here on our, you know. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool spot though. Pretty cool spot. Pretty cool little spot. Vertical. I mean, it's, it's probably your thing. I didn't get the Delray, yeah. so that's why I was. Yeah, but it's, yeah, and still I was thinking there was possibly, uh, we've run into issues where you have these inserts, right? I have every, pretty yeah. much everything so that you guys have. So we've run into these issues where these uh, teeth, these serrated teeth, mm -hmm. aren't always in the same position vertically. So when you put these on, sometimes the teeth don't grab the body, but that doesn't make a noise like that when that happens. And I've only had like three cars that have ever mm -hmm. had that happen in seven years. Yeah. You know, one of them was mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I know for a fact, because we, 
We we took yeah. every, put everything in, and then after we did that, the noise was like strictly from here. So I was like, it has to be the vertical link. But I was yeah. like, I'm not sure. I've tried yeah. like looping okay. it multiple times. So yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's our brand new set of wheels that we just came out with last week. And weight-wise, like, do they drop weight compared to like a horn tire? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're doing those in a, uh, we run a 19 by uh, 10 and 19 by 11, or you can run a 19 by 11 all the way around. I have some grease in the car, you guys need it. <laughs> so we just talked to the guys over here. Um, this part, the camber arm, which actually goes here, as you see, right? It has this pin on the inside. This is a Delrin bushing. So when Delrin is not lubricated, it binds and it makes noise. So what happened was this pin has lube on the, between the two. It dried out and that's actually what's causing it. So if you guys have that squeaking issue, check these out. This might be your issue. Gotta take this out and lube it. All right, so if you guys remember about a year ago when we did suspension mods on a Mustang, um, we was hearing squeaking that we thought was coming from the sway bar bushings, but we started looking more into it, which led us to do the spring isolators in this video, but that ended up not being the case. But the granted, the spring isolators still need to be changed because they were installed incorrectly. So we fixed that problem, but still the squeaking was still occurring. So we thought it was from the vertical links, but it wasn't the vertical links. And then that just led us to Steeda to try to see if they can find out what the problem is, which they did, um, which ended up being Delring bushing due to lack of lubricant. So um, they took it apart and um, diagnosed that that was actually the issue with it. Um, so they took it apart and lubricant to make sure that was a problem, took it on for a drive and find out that that was the issue. So, All right. So... Without showing y'all too much, I'm gonna just kind of show you what it was that kind of paid for. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Y'all just showing you the address, but yeah. So pretty much all they did was like we showed you in the video, and like he just said, they had to lubricate that little pin that goes in between. Um, hopefully this could save y'all some money, man. If you are mechanically inclined, that would have been a real hard thing to kind of diagnose, like he said, because it's just, a real acute part like I, I don't know I, I don't think we would have really thought about that um but yeah so if you guys have this modification on your s550 and you're having this problem and you can't figure it out you could do this at home you just got to kind of press the little pin out and that's that lubricate it put it back in if you know what you're doing if not then i guess you'd have to come and pay um but yeah for you that are mechanically inclined hopefully we can save you some money in the future or if you just can't figure out what that squeaking noise is, now you can kind of ha have some stuff to reference off of, you know. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. Got anything? Stay humble, stay blessed, and take care of yourself at all times. And do that, do that. Um, but yeah, man, we got some we got some stuff coming up for y'all, man. Headers just came in for the car. Uh, <laughs> The motor in his car just spun a raw bearing, so we're gonna be pulling that apart on the channel most likely in the near future. Uh, his car got some mods on the way. We just we got a lot of content coming for you guys, so um, yeah, man, you guys we... go ahead and stay tuned and keep an update. Go ahead and check out our Instagram at throttle underscore havoc, where we post updates on the next build or the mods we get. You know, different stuff. We work a lot, man. I'm in college. Right, we still try to make time to, you know, fit a video here and there for you guys. But yeah, we work hard for you guys to get these videos out. But don't forget, man, we do got jobs. We do. He does have school, and um, yeah, we trying to plug him out as fast as possible for you guys, so you guys have some content from us. Useful content, you know what I'm saying? We want to help save y'all some money. Now, I know some of y'all gonna skip the talking part, but uh, you know, we try to cover all the bases and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. Without that being said, bro. We out of here.